Hello all, welcome to rotrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about navigation links in Oracle Apex. Okay, let's get into agenda. We'll try to understand what is list, what is navigation menu, as well as what is navigation bar. So when we see an Oracle Apex page, we could see different set of components. Okay, and each component had a specific functionality and specific purpose, and also it's having a specific name. Let us understand them one by one. So this is one of the Oracle Apex customers page. And here, if you observe the first highlighted one portion, this one, the blue color one, this is called navigation bar. And the left side one, where, where we could see the hierarchical set of things like one by one, like customers, dashboard, products, and partners, this is called navigation menu, okay? And the left side entry, we call it as navigation menu. And the top one, we call it as navigation bar. It's like a bar, right? And other thing, Within the page, when you see an hierarchical set of links, like a one by one, now under reports, we have a page called all customers. So this kind of uh, component is called a breadcrumb, okay? So navigation menu, breadcrumb, as well as navigation bar, okay? Now in our session, we'll try to concentrate on specifically on the navigation components, like a menu as well as navigation menu, as well as navigation bar, okay? So now what we do is like uh, here, if you observe, under the application shared components, under the navigation, we could see these four things, like a list, navigation menu, breadcrumbs, as well as navigation bar list. Breadcrumbs are covered in another session, which is where we discuss totally about breadcrumbs. Now in this one, we are discussing about the remaining components of the navigation, list, navigation menu, as well as navigation bar list. Let us understand some theoretical information about the list. List, the name, the name list is nothing but a collection of links, right? When you say list, it will have a collection of links. What do you mean by link? A link is nothing but a link to the website, nothing but the address of a URL. That is what a link is all about. And coming to the navigation menu or a bar, we just now saw you know, like where exactly what is referred to, what is referred as navigation menu and what is referred as navigation bar. Navigation menu is nothing but a list with hierarchical list of entries one by one. And a navigation bar generally it is positioned near the end of the application header. Okay. And it generally contains, uh, you know, like links for the purpose of feed, feedback, help, sign out or sign in or some, some kind of, you know, like administration pages or a global set of items. Okay. That's what about navigation bar. Now, the other thing what we would like to see is what is a navigation? Let us say if I, if at all, if, if you want to create your custom navigation or if you want to modify the existing navigation, how do we do that, right? So all the information, what we are discussing about the navigation, they are available at the application level, okay? There is an application specific information and you have to navigate to the application, shared components, shared components and click on, under the navigation, you could see these three things, okay? Now you can click on list, and once you click on this, it will provide the list of entries which are there. Under each list, that will have a specific information over the different set of links, it will have it. So see, this is a list name, and this list name, when you click on this list name, it provides a set of links which are there under it, okay? Now, these lists, what are the lists which are there? They can be used as a navigation menu or they can be used as a navigation bar. Okay. So that information we will be mentioning at the user specific user interface attributes. Okay. If whatever the list which we have, if you want to consider a specific list as for the purpose of navigation bar or a navigation menu, that information we have to update in the user interface attributes under the application shared components. So here, if you observe under the shared components, user interface attributes, click on user interface attributes, it will have the navigation bar. You just mentioned which particular navigation bar you want to consider. And also navigation menu, you can mention which navigation menu you want to consider. Once it is updated, the information will get updated in the application and you could see the a, a new thing, right? Like uh, what, are the, what are the information which we mentioned, okay? Now what we do is I'll just try to create a, a like, um, I'll show you the existing one and then we'll also create a new one. So here, if you observe this one of the thing, which is, which I modified to have, you know, like a different set of navigation bar links. Okay. And also navigation menu, like uh, these are the navigation menu links, which I created. And here, if you observe the customer page, which we, which is there already like uh, the sample page. And here we could see the uh, username and it has a preference as well as sign out page. And also it has feedback as well as help page, right? And now what we do is let us see how we do it, right? So I'll just try to create a new application from scratch so that we'll have a clarity. I'll just close all these things. Click on new, create a new application. 
navigation list app to create application. So I'll create a couple of pages. Like I'll just create um, EMP form as well as EMP report and a blank page, three pages overall. So I'll just say, this is my EMP report. And so breadcrumb, I'll create a breadcrumb, okay. Navigation entry, let us say, I will not create any navigation entry. Okay. and. EMP, this is my report. And similarly, I'll create EMP form also. EMP form. EMP form. And here, just to give the target information as of now. And you can mention breadcrumb or we can ignore the breadcrumb also. It's not required. And navigation menu entry, I'm not creating it. Okay, and this one. Okay. EMP number, created. So now, so far we created two pages, okay. Let us observe how they are looking like, and then we can, we'll create one more page also. Okay, so this is the EMP form. And here, if you observe, it is not showing the EMP report because we have not mentioned to include that particular report under this one, right? Okay, and maybe we can try to navigate that by providing a name, okay? So what was the name? EMP report, right? So I'll just copy this. Okay, this was our EMP report and this is our EMP page, EMP form page. Now, I'll create one more page, a blank page. So I'll just say blank page. I'll name it as blank page and uh, it's okay. Let's have breadcrumb next. And no navigation entry for this also. Finish. Now, now the task is, I just want to include one by one under the a specific navigation menu, right? So let's do that. So what we have to do, go to the application, shared components, okay? Click on list. Now, by default, you'll see a navigation bar and navigation menu, which is clean, which is there already. By default, this will be there already, okay? Now, what we want to do is, first of all, we want to configure navigation menu, right? So I'll just click on navigation menu. I want to include a specific set of entries. As of now here, if you observe any of the existing page, we could see only home, right? Could see only home here, the same thing. So we want to include the remaining three pages which we created. I'll click on create entry. Let's see the first one, EMP report. So I'll just mention EMP report and you just mentioned the page name, this one EMP report, and click on create list entry. Okay, now just refresh this one. Okay, now we could see EMP report, right? Similarly, you can just do the entry for EMP form also. Label EMP form and other one, this page ID, and similarly for the blank page also the blank page, ID is for create list entry, that's it. So now just go here and refresh. You should see the remaining two links also, right? Overall, we could see all the three links, okay? Now, the other thing what I want to do is, so here, I just want to have one more, uh, like uh, I just want to have my uh, link here, link of all the pages which I created, right? As a, as a, as a new tab here, as a new like uh, tab in here. So now what I'll do is, so I'll go here in the list, click on navigation bar. Okay, as of now here, if you observe, we already have these three links, right? One is for the purpose of application user, a separator as well as a login URL, a logout URL. 
right? This is for the purpose of first one, the username staff, a separator, and then a sign out one. So now we want to include a separate one, right? We don't want to disturb this one. We want to have a separate entry here. So what I'll do is here, create entry. Okay, no parent entry. And I'll just say custom pages. So I'll just say like this URL. Okay, I'll just say hash like this. Create list entry. And I'll just refresh this one and see how it looks like, right? We could say custom pages, right? And let us say I want to move it to left instead of right, I want to move it to left. What you have to do is you just change the sequence, okay? Just change the sequence to one so that it will be the starting, it will become the starting one. So I'll just refresh here, go here and refresh. Right, we could see custom pages. Under custom pages, I want to have the remaining entries. So now what I'll do is I'll create entry. I'll create entry and I'll say EMP report. And here, I'll start here EMP report and create list entry. Okay, so now here, what have what is happening is, what is the, what is the level of EMP report? It is showing it as, it is showing it as one. It means that it will be shown as independent one. Just refresh here, you could observe that, right? So EMP report, it is displayed as a different entity, but I want to consider the EMP report under my custom pages. So you just need to update the parent of that. So you have an option here, resequence list entries, sorry, reparent list entries within the list. So click on this one. And here, I want to consider re this one, EMP report under the parent entity, which one? Custom pages, reparent chain entries. That's it. Now, if you go here and refresh, we should see that under the custom pages, we could see the EMP report. Similarly, we can do for the remaining two entries also, okay? So this is all about navigation list as well as navigation bar in the Oracle Apex, okay? Thank you.